I'm Old Sneelock. Welcome to another episode of Old Sneelock's Workshop. Got a package in the mail this weekend. Kind of excited about it. You guys may remember this. This is my prototype plastic injection molding machine. Made it up out of the stuff that I had in the storage room. I just wanted to try melting some bottle caps to see what it would do. Well, I actually got to use it. I made a bushing for a grinding wheel on a hand grinder and it worked really well. Uh, still got the plastic in it. But it was an improvised thing. I had a piece of threaded rod with a, a plunger on the end of it to try and force the plastic out. Biggest problem though was heating it. Heating it with a propane torch meant that I had to be really careful because I could burn the plastic inside, which would kind of destroy the whole purpose of it. So I had to heat it up slowly and carefully, and it took like 15-20 minutes to make sure I had the temperature up. I wanted to have the plastic just dripping out the bottom, which was fine. And on a short shot like this one, I only needed maybe half an ounce of plastic to come out the end. But what I really wanted to be able to do is make all kinds of things out of plastic. And I thought, well, I need a continuous feed, some way to make this thing be a continuous feed. Well, that meant that I had to maintain the temperature in this tube without having uh, me holding a torch the whole time, because as soon as I started moving the plastic through, the tube would cool, the temperature would drop, and it would stop flowing, and then I would end up with a short shot on my plastic. Not functional. So I went online and made a couple of purchases. This is the first time I've looked at them. But I did do a lot of checking to make sure that it was going to fit the size of the thing that I had. Now this is a band heater. I'm more familiar with them using them to heat barrels. The idea is this wraps around the pipe. This has a heating element on the inside of it, just inside that clamp. I can wrap it around the pipe, apply electricity to the element, and the element will heat up and heat the tube. Now, because it's electric, I can control it. I could control gas too, but electric's a lot easier. But to control it, I needed a controller. Now, I really wanted to buy one made in the United States, but it just wasn't possible. There might be some that are made here in the United States, but they're way outside my price range. So I ended up with this little thing here. Temperature controller. Model TA4-SNR- or plus K. Input TC RTD, output SSR. Made in China, along with everything else in the world. Yeah, I know, I'm supporting them. So now that I have the, t the equipment, I have to do some noodle work. I gotta read the directions. Yep, yeah, always read the directions. Wire it up. Make this tube longer. I could put these two on it, but really, I wanna have the tube long enough to get a good solid shot on it. So I have two heating elements. I'll put one on one side and one on the other and feed the plastic into it. This will be my heating chamber. The melting chamber is actually going to be a, a longer piece of three quarter inch pipe so that I can get a larger shot in it. And I have to do some experimenting to see where exactly I want to have the bands put on this thing. I'm thinking I need to have one close to the end and one about six to eight inches away. That should give me a good enough chamber in here that I should be able to control the temperature over that 
8 to 12 inches. Then I'll have to try and control the flow and make sure that I've got uh, warmed up plastic going through the system. Plastic has a problem. The plastic is an insulator. So the outside tube may be warm enough and the plastic touching the tube may be warm enough. Any plastic going down the center of the tube may be in an insulated space so that it doesn't melt. Have an idea on that. I might have to put a mandrel down the center of it just to make sure that I get a good heating process. But all that's going to be fun in the future. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching.